a long time no update or at least it feels like that it is already wednesday so mondays as you know for me are already really busy and then last night we had a date night so we went out and we got dinner we did a little bit of shopping and then we went to see venom at the cinema so i had a great time however this week has not been great for reading as you know i'm taking part in the charms extra credit readathon right now so i have like five books that i'm supposed to be reading and i have read maybe 40 pages in the past two days so not not off to a great start. When I left you on Sunday, I said I was going to try and get to page 500 of Empire of Storms, which was my goal. However, I did not read a single thing after I updated you. So since then, I've made it to page 454 of Empire of Storms. So my main priority right now is just to finish this book. I have like 200 pages left, 230 or something. I'm just going to crack on with it. I've ended up having a really, really busy week. It's Wednesday evening now. I have like candle orders coming out of my ears. Work is kicking my ass. I'm heading to the gym. Like I need to get ready for the gym now. I shouldn't be doing this. I should be getting changed. But I just needed, like I really needed to start this vlog off. So my main priority is to finish this as soon as possible. I want to say by tomorrow, but we all know that when I say I'm going to finish something or read something, it ain't going to happen. So we'll just see what happens with this. But I am aiming to just crack on with this as my only real priority read until it is finished and this one will be for the incendio charm which is to read a book with fire or flames in the title or on the cover and the cover of empire of storms when it has its dust jacket on has fire on it so that is my reading update for now i'm gonna go and get ready for the gym i'm going to hopefully when i get back read a lot i've pretty much done everything i had to do before it was time to go to the gym so that i could just really crack on with it when i get home and i'll catch up with you later so i'm just trying to read my book but we have a problem and that problem is that the dog just wants to lie on it Hey guys, so it's now Friday. I still have not finished Empire of Storms. However, I am loving it so much. Like, I have so many feelings, so many feelings. I'm just feeling everything. I've been doing a book diary for this because I've done it for every other book in the series and that. <laughs> I'm just fangirling a lot, like a lot. Like I just get this feeling when I'm reading it and it's my favorite in the series and I just, I just feel all the feels and this book has all the ships in and everything's high stakes and you just get this feeling of friendship like they're all willing to die for each other and they're getting into all these intense battles and just like every time a new army turns up like I just I just break down it's so emotional so I'm on page 615 not sure what page I was on the last time I spoke to you, but I think I've read almost 200 pages maybe. Was I on page like 415, 450 or something? So, making good progress. I have like, oh, I have like 70 pages left. I could finish this tonight, but that is why I'm here. Tonight, I was planning on going to the gym because it's Friday. I always go to the gym, apart from last week when I didn't. But I was planning on going to the gym, but Hull Fair is actually in town this week and I did not know. I've never been, but it is like one of the largest traveling fairs in Europe and it's here for like a week every October. And it's really weird because when we went out on Tuesday, we went to Hull and I didn't see like excessive traffic. There were more buses than usual, which is normal for Hull Fair. I didn't see excessive traffic, I didn't see people with balloons, I didn't hear the music. So, had no idea it was on, but now that I do, I'm going to go for the first time. However, as you saw from the clip that I've just recorded, that will, I assume, be before this in the vlog, and you may even be able to hear now, it is very windy outside, like it's bordering on stormy, the trees are like bending over, and Hull Fair has a lot of very big rides, which I don't think they're going to be open. I know that they've already closed the big wheel I saw on Twitter, but I haven't had any news anywhere else. They don't have like a big publicity thing. So I don't know what rides are going to be available, but they have like a halloumi shack. So like I really like halloumi, so I might get some of that. And I want something like chocolatey, like a waffle or something. So I'm going to go do that. I will insert some fit footage. I will insert some footage. <laughs> I will insert some footage of Hull Fair and I hope that there's some good rides open because they have like really big ones and I'm like such an adrenaline junkie but fair rides scare me a little bit because they're not as safe as like theme park rides but you know I'm kind of glad that they're closed because then I don't feel compelled to like get my adrenaline rushed by going on very unsafe rides. They're not that unsafe. I just you know like I watched Final Destination 3 it just it got to me. <laughs> if there are big rides open I'll go on them. If not, then at least I won't die tonight. But 
I will insert some footage, as I said, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for sure, let you know where I'm up to and if I finished Empire of Storms. And now we go for round two of dog lying on book and not letting me read. Why you do this? Why you do this? No paps. No paps. Okay guys, so it's it's almost 2 a.m. but I finally finished Empire of Storms. I've been reading this since August. August is when I picked up this book. So this is my first book that I finished in October and it is also my first book for the Charms Readathon, obviously. That one's for Incendio. So plan of action going forward because that just, I that's a reread for me, Empire of Storms, and it's just completely destroyed my soul, even though I knew what happened. And I'm just feeling, feeling dead inside. So I'm not gonna start anything else right now because it's like nearly 2 a.m. and I wanna get some sleep and recover emotionally but i think my plan of action next is to read the last 300 pages of fiori born by claire legrand that one is going to replace lifelike did i have on my tbr but i'm going to use it to fulfill the challenge for alohomora which was to read the first book in a series if i remember rightly so tomorrow morning i'm going to be continuing on with that and i know i'm cheating the hell out of this readathon because you're not supposed to be reading books you've already started but as you know, I've taken part in all the other magical readathon stages and I really wanted to take part in this one, but I had five books that were unread. So my plan, because I was really enjoying Fiori Born, is to finish that and then finish Sea Witch by Sarah Henning, which will probably go in for Akio instead of the Poppy War. So they're my tentative reading plans so far. I will let you know tomorrow whether they still stick, but I'm gonna go and get some sleep now because my heart hurts and it's almost 2 a.m. Hello, hello, so it's Saturday evening. I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update of what I'm reading because I was very unsure when I finished Empire of Storms last night, but I have carried on with Fiori Born by Claire Legrand. I haven't read a whole lot today. I've read like 35 pages. I've had like a full filming day. Well, I filmed three videos. Does anyone else feel like filming just takes up so much of your time? Like if I filmed three tag videos, I still feel like it would take me like three hours. I don't know what is wrong with me, but it takes me forever. So I had a filming day and then I've watched Riverdale and the last or the newest two installments of the Jake Paul documentary and I know, I know, but I'm trash. I'm trash for reality TV and things like that so I watched those and I'm going to go do some reading now. I wanted to have this finished by the end of the week, which I still could. I mean, it's a pretty quick read when I have time to actually sit down and read it. But it's only 10 p.m. and I don't plan on going to bed like super early, so I definitely could get some reading done in this. The only other like thing of note that I have to say is that I counted up the tallies on my You Choose My Thriller video and both Before I Go to Sleep and Night Film got eight votes each. So now I put the poll on Twitter where Night Film is winning, which is one of the ones that I want to read most but it's also hella long for Spookathon. So we're gonna see how that goes, see if Night Film continues to win. It's funny because Before I Go To Sleep was leading both in the votes on my YouTube video and in the Twitter poll, and then Night Film crept up on YouTube and has now overtaken it on Twitter. So <laughs> we'll see what my pick for that will be. The room tour will probably be the first clip you will see from tomorrow. So I'm gonna get that done for you. And now I'm gonna go and read and eat some fudge that I got from the fair, which I don't think I told you about, but I got this one is marzipan flavour and this one is Bailey's flavour, like the alcoholic beverage. And then I also got my dad and my boyfriend some salted caramel flavour and also Snickers, which I don't know, do you have Snickers in the US? I feel like you do, but I don't know if they're called Snickers, but I got them Snickers flavoured ones. And that's all I've got for now and I'm going to go do some reading. Okay guys, so it's 3pm on Sunday and it's time to wrap this up. But first I'm going to insert the room tour that I promised you that I filmed this morning. So when you walk through the door, like my bookshelves are right here. 
but we'll get to those in a minute. So we'll start over this side. So this window ledge is like always completely messy, but they are all of my colouring books and my toothbrush charger. <laughs> and then we have the bed over here where I do sit to vlog a lot. And my dressing table is here. It is always chaos. <laughs> and this is like the millions of eyeshadow palettes and things that I own. Like this bag is overflowing. Over here, I keep my tripod there so I can keep it up and grab it when I'm vlogging. And then this chair is actually a really nice vintage 60s chair. But I just keep it to put my jumpers on when I'm not wearing them. But they're not ready for washing. And then here we have, this is my bedside table. All of my planner stuff goes underneath it there because I have nowhere to put it. These are some of our records. Most of them are my boyfriend's. I have like less than 50 and he has like hundreds. But these are the 2000s to 2010s, I think. So like, let's see if I can find one of mine to pull out for you. I know mine are down here. There we go. That's 1975's last album. I like it when you sleep for you are so beautiful yet so unaware of it. And then up here, this is like my boyfriend's. There's a green day. And what's this? Radiohead. So these are like some of the newer records. So now my bookshelves are like almost floor to ceiling. This is a pile of library books that I have nowhere to put. That's a new book that I got that I have nowhere to put. They're my Strange the Dreamer special editions I have nowhere to put. That is a cross stitch I've been working on for like four years that I like work on intermittently. <laughs> but my bookshelves. So I'm going to go into just like a little bit of how I organise them. So these are my classics and poetry. These ones are my boyfriend's books. These are some of my trinkets. Like I'm not going to go into everything too much because I am doing a bookshelf tour at some point. But you have like Sarah J Mass here but that needs moving soon because I'll have too many books to fit that space. My Meraki candles before they shut down and some little like the Pokemon Nano blocks. And then these are all large paperbacks and graphic novels, short hardbacks and Lonely Planet travel guides and then that's a few of my extra Harry Potters because we have like multiple Harry Potter sets. And then everything else is just alphabetical order so the first book I have is by Tomi Adeyemi and then down behind this stuff the last one is The Book Thief. And as you guys all know have my happy hello bookmarks which I did do a happy hello bookmark tour but I might need to do an updated one so then this side of the room is like the tv and lounge area this table here is pop-up we don't have it up all the time but we have the speakers and when we listen to records we put the table up and put the speaker on it so we get like what's it called stereo sound this is the record player and here are all of the older records so they start I think the bottom starts at the 50s moving up to like the 80s and 90s are up here so that's like house of love beetles and stones porcupine tree which is like quite a cult band i believe rem dream theater these are all the gig tickets for the gigs we haven't been to yet this are the records that don't fit on the shelves so these are all like really new ones there's some of mine in here there's mayday parade taylor swift and have mercy frank turner chain smokers all of these ones are mine wham yes wham is mine as well more mayday parade more taylor and heim and then i think the ones in the bags are ones that my boyfriend got from a record fair recently up here we have my hardbacks because the shelves that i have are dvd shelves so they don't fit and we've got like a couple of funkos over here we've got negan and carl from the walking dead these are like a few candles i've been burning and my wax warmer oh no both of these guys have fallen over <laughs> There's Alana and Marco from Saga. That is a Disney Traditions Beauty and the Beast ornament and I also have a tangled one there. Over on this window ledge I also have a castle that I painted myself and a candle that's melted in the window which is nice. But I painted this myself and the unicorn and my boyfriend did this dragon. In this shelf we have a bag of tea lights and these are all of my box sets. They go like right back into the cube. And then like this is just like miscellaneous nonsense in this shelf. But let me turn around and show you this first. This is the sofa. There's Lion Cat. And if I sit, I'll sit. Okay, so here's like the TV area. We have PlayStation 2 games. 
a speaker and headphones and stuff. PlayStation 1 games, Xbox One, Xbox 360 and Xbox One, Xbox 360. That's like the amp for the surround sound. We have a PlayStation 2, a GameCube, a Nintendo 64. That's the Switch, Wii U, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4. So that's all of our consoles, apart from we have a PlayStation 1 and a Mega Drive that we don't have connected, but all of these are hooked to the TV. And all of these wires that are loose are like charger cables and HDMIs and audio things. And then on this side we have, that's PlayStation 4, Wii U at the back, and Switch. More PlayStation 4 and GameCube and DS, maybe up there? Is that DS? I don't have my glasses on. Yeah. So yeah, oh look, you can see me, hello. Oh, here I have my, these are my Harry Potter special, like illustrated ones, because they're too big to go everywhere else as well. But I think that is everything in my room. So this week I finished one book that I've been reading since August, and that was Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas. I gave this five stars, knew that I would. It was a reread and is my favorite book in the series. Absolutely love this book. Love the friendship, the battles, the everything, just the romances in this, because there's just so many. And yeah, favorite book in the series. So hyped for Kingdom of Ash now, like literally so hyped. This one completed the Charm Challenge Incendio, which was to read a book with flame on the cover in the title somewhere here which as you can see this has now i haven't finished fury born by claire legrand but i have read 78 pages no 80 80 something pages i've read of this so i have like 220 pages to go don't think i'm gonna get it done tonight but this one was for alohomora i am going to hopefully get a lot of reading done tonight i've pretty much done most of the things i had to do today so i'm free to do a bit of reading now and i'll let you know how that goes a lot of things in this book are still really annoying me i find the action scenes very hard to follow just little little things like there's a lot of tabs in there because I have a lot of issues with this book. But we'll see how much of this I can get done tonight and I will let you know in next week's vlog whether I manage to finish this or when I manage to finish this. Next week's vlog will be for Spookathon so I may put Fury Barn on hold because it's not on my TBR. The three books I want to focus on for that are Night Film I think is going to win the poll on my Twitter, Tower of Dawn and Finishing Sea Witch. So those are my priorities for next week. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this reading vlog. Please let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate You say you will go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no